Hi YouTube, this is Amir Tiny for Stack 96 and today I'm going to be doing a little video showing how you can easily, with one click, move something from anywhere on your Mac straight up to SkyDrive without going through the website or manually moving it from one folder to the other or anything like that. It does take a lot of setting up at the beginning but after you set it up it should easily work and you shouldn't have any problems. first thing you want to do is you want to go to whatever web browser you use and click on get SkyDrive apps and when you get to this website you want to scroll down till you get to download SkyDrive here and then click not play, click download SkyDrive from Mac so then when you click that it should bring you to this page and the Mac App Store should automatically open and then when the Mac App Store opens, it's just a simple install and just enter your password and it downloads. Then after it downloads, you just go through the normal installation process until you get to this page that I'll bring up. This page. Where you can basically choose which folders you want to sync. So what you could have done before this is you could go to your SkyDrive and create a new folder which will be the folder that you sync to such as this folder which I have um, synced to my Mac or you can just use one of your existing folders if I find where it is and then just go next until you finish the installation then what you want to do is you want to go to the SkyDrive button which should be here now and then go to open SkyDrive folder then you want to drag this from the side to here and it will just make accessing it easier you can always remove this by the ends but you're going to need it so come out of this and now go into automator by just searching at the top so oops my bad so when you get into automator you just want to double click service and change the service receive selected to files or folders in finder <clears throat> and next you want to go to you want to type at the top new folder, not filter folder, and just drag that in. Then you want to type in rename, find items, and drag that in, and just press add. And then you want to drag in, um, just remove that, and put move. Although you can keep that if you want to just um, copy them but I want to just have move and then after that which is optional you can do you can do this if you want and I recommend you do it but you don't really have to you just type in notification or just notify or notif and just drag display notification in and this will just show a standard um, a notification sent to notification and in here you can just type whatever you want and this will just show at the side of it. No. This will just show at the side as a notification so when um, everything's done, so you know that it's done. Now, go back up to rename find items, and you, as you see, you can change the date. You, you can change the date or time to the date it was created, or any of these. I like to keep it on current. And the format, you can change it from month, day, year to day, month, year, and all of that. I like to put it as day, month, year and you can change where it goes and the separate and stuff but I'm going to leave it as it is and you also want to go to new finder items and go to other then click on the skydrive um, link you have, you have here and then go to your folder that should be synced to your desktop and just click choose I'm just going to do it to this one and just do the same for the new folder and choose. So now for the name of the new folder you can put um, a name like backup or anything like that and what will happen after the after automator goes through the whole process it'll add in date on time after all the files are added so there won't be any conflicts later on. And after you finish just press command s and just save it as whatever name you want. So I've already made this and I called it just move files to SkyDrive. So I'm going to come out of this for now and don't save it. If I go to Finder, 
and no name, which is basically where my pictures are stored, it's just my SD card. Okay, yeah, you're just having a bit of a problem. So I'll just go to desktop and I'll just move this screenshot. So you just right click and then you'll see that there's a new service or um, a new option added here move files to SkyDrive or whatever you want to call yours. And if you just click it, then you should see that the file has moved. And if you go into SkyDrive and Nikon, then you should see that. It's called backup now because um, the backup 14, 1, 14, which is today, was already taken. So if you have a folder that's already, um, so if you have a, um, a name that's already there, it just simply doesn't create it if it can, or it just um, goes as far as it can without, um, be without the name being a conflict with another one, basically. So now it just didn't add the date because it saw there was another one made that um, had the same date. And obviously this isn't going to be a problem if you um, make, um, if you only do this like once a day or if you're removing single folders and don't want to have the single files and don't want to have the folder option, you just want to have it go straight there. It shouldn't be a problem, but if you do this just um, now and again, it should be okay. So as you see in the backup, the screenshot's gone there. And that's about it. So uh, if you also um also if you want to add a keyboard shortcut, what you can do is you can go to the Finder or whatever um, app you have open now, which should be Finder because if you follow me, that's what it will be, and go to Services and Services Preferences, and then scroll down to the um, service you made if I can find it, and as as you can see here, it says Move Files to SkyDrive. So if you click on that and you click on the side here which should say add shortcut for you but I've already added one just click on it and then you can just type in whatever shortcut you want I'll just type in the letters that you want to be the shortcut and just exit it and now if I move this back to the desktop and delete this you should see that if I press the um, keys that I use for the keyboard shortcut It's having a bit of a problem. Okay, it's moved it anyway. For some reason, it just didn't delete it. And that area you get is what you see if there's a conflict and um, where you're moving the folder to. If there's a conflict in the name, it just shows that. And I didn't really find a way around that yet. But if you can, just leave them down below in the comments and I'll be sure to add it. So, as you can see, the Folders, the files moved and it should be syncing up now but there's other files syncing up so it didn't really show so that's about it so that's been my video on how to move um, files and folders straight from anywhere in, on um, your Mac straight up to SkyDrive using Automator if you if you like this video please give it a like over there and subscribe down here somewhere and comment if you have any comments or you have any way I could improve um, this service or anything like that or just want to say hi or something. And thanks for watching.